Okay, you are good to go. All right, good evening, everybody. We'll call the meeting to order. Um, just as a reminder, audience delegations are suspended on virtual meetings, but audience members are more than welcome to listen and watch. Uh, we need a preview of the and approval of the agenda. We need a motion. Meyer. Approved the agenda is presented. That was Doug Meyer. Yes. Back then. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Hang on one second. Okay, I think all my board members are unmuted. All right, Cameron. Yes. Tina. Yes. Doug A. Yes. Nancy. Yes. Bing. Yes. Doug Meyer. Yes. Brittany. <laughs> Brittany. We're not hearing you again, Brittany. <laughs> you just want to give me a thumbs up for a yes for right now? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We need a motion for the to approve the consent agenda. Nancy, so moved we approve the agenda the consent agenda okay. as presented. Okay. I'm sorry, who seconded? <clears throat> Doug A? I think so. Okay. Yes. We have a motion and a second. Cameron? Yes. Tina? Yes. Doug A? Yes. Nancy? Yes. Bing? Yes. Doug Meyer? Yes. Brittany? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Okay, for student recognitions, we'll do what we did last month. If you could just go in and watch that video, um, but it's, is it Kaylin? Is that how you pronounce her name, Susan? Kaylin Holden? I think so, I'm not positive. Okay, I'm gonna say Kaylin Holden and Nathaniel DeVinney are our students of the month. Um, moving on to monthly information items. Anybody have any questions or comments on any of that? Okay. I did ask Paul about the enrollment figures because it was showing January figures already and he said he was going to check on that and oh. get back to me, but I'm sure he's been busy. I can address that if you'd like. Um, uh -huh. Enrollment is just a snapshot. so. It's whatever day I prepare that report, um, and it's just the enrollment that day. So it's not going to show for a whole month. Like I say, enrollment is just a snapshot of what's going on at that time. It's not like ADA that's cumulative over the month or, you know, anything like that. Does that help a little bit? We wanted to show January because you're gonna see a change in the virtual and in-person. So we wanted to be sure and show that change for second semester. Okay, okay but it also didn't show the, per the attendance percentage. Are you not gonna show that anymore? Oh, did I miss that? On the enrollment. I must have missed that, my apologies. I'll get it put I on. I just notice it because it's been so hot. I'll get it put on there and um, and repost that so that you can see them. I'll let you know when I. So it's not. It. It's not a. It's not a month worth of enrollment. It's just that day. Yep. For Whatever like day so I it's like the two weeks report. of January up to that day. No. It's just that, okay. that day. Enrollment's not cumulative. Okay. It's just that day. All right. Okay, I thought we were comparing months, but I guess we're not. Whatever. I mean, you can no. see that it's changed from last month. So in that aspect, yes, mm -hmm. it's been about a, you know, a month since I ran the report. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. That's what I was going to say, Susan. I noticed a big difference on the high school. There was like 80, I think, more people in person that were virtual right. Right. spread out amongst the four grades. So, yes, I did notice that big change. Yeah, and that's like I say, that's why we wanted to show in January what truly happened second semester. Sure. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I'll get I, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I forgot those percentages on there. So I'll get them put on there and repost it and I'll let you know when it's reposted so you can take a look if you'd like to. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, do we have any any other questions or comments? Okay, Board of Education candidate filing. Um, um, filing closed this evening at five o'clock for the April election. We had three people file. Uh, incumbents Doug Meyer and Doug Alexander have filed along with Dallas Register. All right. Oh, I keep going too fast. Assessment and evaluation of district programs. We have budget. Let me get Deb unmuted here. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Okay, um, just a, a um, high level overview here. Um, at the end of December, of course, we've hit the midway point already in the school year. Um, current year property taxes, we're at 61% of budget, so that's looking good. Um, Prop C revenues at 49%, so right about where we need to be. State revenues are a little low at 41%. Um, overall revenues for the general operating and special revenue funds are at 54% of budget. Um, the uh, I always I like to give you that information because that that is our truly day-to-day -day operating um, funds the general operating and special revenue um, capital projects with all the the um, bond stuff we have in there kind of skews those figures overall if you look at a high at the overall percentage so um, expenditures um, overall for the general operating and special revenue funds at 41 percent so that's looking pretty good um, our ending projected fund balance percentage um, is at 32.8%. So that's kind of where we talked about last month, how that would go up after we got our property taxes in this month. So um, holding true to what we expected that jumped up. Um, again, our goal is in the 20 to 25% range there. So we'll be, um, okay for a few months on that and then overall our cash and investments are at 20.9 million um 10.9 million of that is bond proceeds so um operating um fund balances there our cash is about 10 million any questions hey deb when when does the walmart money start hitting you know, I cannot answer that. I would have to look back at last year. Oh, I mean, as far as, uh, you know, um, Paul and I did talk about that a little bit the other day. I'm thinking, because they they have TIF right now, right? Or right. there's, um, done. I think it's next fiscal year. It's, so we got a year it's really close fiscal to- Fiscal year 22, I believe. Done, yeah. It's, Jason's shaking his head, so yeah. yeah. It's really close to done. Oh. I remember yeah. we looked that up last year, so. Mm -hmm. And I mean, evidently surprised. there's, I, I don't understand it 100%, but evidently they they did have some options to renew and they are not, they have indicated they are not going to. So we should be getting that money then. Do, do we know, and maybe Jason does, what the amount of that's gonna be or projections? I don't think he knows that yet. I don't think Paul knows that yet. All right. Have we got any other questions or comments? Well, so if everybody could just hang out for just a few minutes, don't sign off, but hang out and we'll see where Paul is at. Um, I sent him a text, but I haven't heard from him, so. Okay. <clears throat> we 
you're a quiet bunch this evening. <laughs> so since he's late, we should probably do his annual review now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, and, and since we've got a little bit of time and we were just on that subject uh, of that Walmart funds coming in, those are extra funds that we have not had before. And I know that Paul had discussed trying to create some kind of a savings fund or something like that. Should we think about a certain percentage of those funds coming in and establishing that rainy day fund? Since we're not used to getting those, those would be extra or we could take a certain percentage and, and stash away. What do you mean we're not used to getting them? We've been getting them. We've been getting them. What do you yeah. mean? I think we're almost done getting them is what. That's, that's the pilot funds, isn't it? It's we, to payment in lieu of taxes, yes. Yes. And it goes towards some lease thing that we've been yep. paying on with those funds. Right. Yep. But it's not something that's come in as income that we're going to have extra money for. We're well, now going to pay, well, be paying well, taxes as opposed to the payment. And I don't know what their tax, what rate they'd be calculated at, or what their, what the assessor will stick them or give them for a figure. Right. Yeah, it's whatever comes in on the tax rolls will be what we look at next. So, hmm. so the fact they're so not, not going to be anything it, extra. No. no. The fact they're not renewing it probably leads you to believe that the taxes will be lower than what the pilot payment was. That's what I would think too. Okay. So we won't have any extra rat hole. Well, hopefully he's done here in the next couple minutes. Yeah, he hasn't answered me, so I he may be doing his presentation or something now. I'm not sure, so. Jason. Yeah, Jason. I, yeah. Jason wants to talk. Yeah, I hit it. There you go. I was on that meeting before I switched over here. They've been talking for over an hour, but right before I switched on here, they were about ready to call for votes. So I don't know then what went from there. So, uh, but I can hear him still beside me here talking every once in a while. He's, he's probably super happy that it, <laughs> that he's not done yet. <laughs> there he is. Hello. Coming on, give him just a second. <laughs> we got to get him unmuted and stuff. There he is. <laughs> I'm here. Hi, I give up. I give up. <laughs> no, it was, a, it was a good meeting. It just took a long time. I apologize. So, uh, where are we at in the agenda? We're ready for your strategic plan update. Okay. So, from a strategic uh, plan standpoint, uh, right now uh, we've got our instructional district admin team meeting next uh, week. We're going to talk about um, uh, a lot of the data that enc encompasses what we want to do with the scorecard. So we've looked at our fast bridge data. Uh, uh, Mrs. Meeks is compiling that right now. Uh, we're going to uh, discuss that at our DAP meeting and establish that scorecard, that instructional piece on the scorecard and kind of move in that direction. So um, I think we're excited about it. We've been uh, in put out the fire mode a lot uh, with the first semester. So we look forward to uh, focusing on uh, 
specific instructional <laughs> improvements. So that's a big part of our strategic plan. Uh, also facility improvements. So that kind of ties right in with construction. Uh, just to give you a hot off the presses, uh, at least from our, our meeting with the, the city. Uh, so the city approved a resolution tonight to waive the fees, um, instruction, uh, the inspection and uh, uh, permit fees. Uh, they will review it quarterly uh, based on their budget to make sure they're not exceeding budget. Well, they may come back and uh, and assess us at that time, but uh, they were very favorable toward uh, our presentation. We're very excited about that. Um, and so uh, it just took, took a long time to work through it and, and to get to that point. So we will review it quarterly with the city and I'll be a part of that meeting with them and uh, trying to help alleviate those, those cost concerns. So um, we did have our, our, uh, our pre-bid uh meetings uh today uh they're not required for the for the subcontractors to attend but we did have a large number of subcontractors there uh it was a, it was a good meeting gave them the opportunity to tour the different facilities and the sites and see if they had any questions uh, the plans have been released um and so the addendums there'll be addendums pretty much every other day throughout the bid process uh, depending on the questions related to the, the plans specifically. So uh, there's tweaks and, and different things along the way uh, related to that too. Um, I did want to let you know that I have had conversations with LJ Hart about um, uh, issuing our second series of bonds. Um, I, I think that they're ready to do that too. It's a favorable time to, to look at bond sales. Obviously we had such a good, uh, successful sale the first time in July, at the end of July. Uh, it's just uh, the, the bond rates still remain very favorable. So uh, it's a good time to look at that second $10 million uh, release. So um, I think next board meeting, they're planning to come and, and visit with you all about that. So um, one of the things that we've been looking at in terms of facilities, kind of that we're looking at from our own standpoint, not with the construction management team, but the track in particular. Uh, so we've talked to different track vendors uh, and part of that process is that's, a, that's on the, uh, the cooperatives that we belong to. It's the purchasing cooperatives. So basically we pick the, the product that we like um, and, and then uh, the vendors are all on that on that scope, so it's not a it's not a bid process for for the track. Um, what I imagine they'll be with that project, they'll be they'll have to take that top layer off the the rubberized track surface off, and then they'll analyze the the asphalt underneath to see if they need to mill, and then put an overlay on the on the asphalt. I imagine there'll be some uh, required. Um, just in talking to their vendors. Um, and then the retaining wall is something that was, uh, we had an engineer or Newkirk and Novak had an, an engineer out to look at the retaining okay. wall. Um, that engineer, structural engineer, feels like there's a minimal amount of courses that need to come off the top of the retaining wall. It's the concrete issue and then uh, drain in behind it. So I think that there will be an opportunity for cost savings on that project as well related to that. So, um, and that's probably something that we can perform ourselves as long as it's specced and stamped by their engineer. So, uh, so we're pretty happy about that, that process too. So that is kind of the strategic plan and construction process all in one. Uh, our, our plan right now, is to begin construction uh, in February. Uh, I will have to let you all know, we will have to have a special board meeting to, um, to approve the bids. Um, so that will be February, first, first or second week in February uh, to approve the bids. So um, I'll let you know as soon as uh, Brandon lets me know the exact date on that. Jason, do you remember that date, what that was? Yeah, I didn't. I can't remember off the top of my head what it was. So, anyways, we'll we'll have a special board meeting to approve those bids uh, on that day. 
So that is all that I have, folks. Does anybody, anybody have, any have any questions, questions or comments for Paul? Yeah. All right. So quick, we quick. need, oh, sure. On the, when you mentioned the retaining wall at the stadiums up there, is that the retaining wall? Is that the portion to the north of our stands or south uh, of the grandstand or the stands there, Paul? Um, it's on the south side of the, the stand. So it's that tall retaining wall. Um, you know where the circle drive is on the south side, like by, where the coaches park and all that. Um, it's that wall right there. So there's some water issues right there. Um, but but again, the, the engineer looked at it and it's better than we thought. So that's a, that's a good thing. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. Any, any, very, very good. good. We need a motion to adjourn and reconvene and closed. This is being, I'll make the motion that we adjourn this session, and reconvene and close session. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Cameron? Yes. Brittany? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tina? Yes. Doug A? Yes. Doug M? Yes. Nancy? Yes. Bing? Yes. Okay. All right, I will end this meeting and then we will start the other one. Thank you. Awesome. Mm -hmm.